Good afternoon. Back with more pumpkins. <laughs> this time it's for a watercolor challenge that I'm co-hosting over on Instagram. Her theme is pumpkins and ghosts. And then in the second week, pumpkins and bats. So I'm just giving myself a warm yellow guide for my pumpkin shape. And then I will drop in some more pumpkin and those little cheeks. Doesn't quite look like a pumpkin yet, <laughs> but with a few layers it will. So I'll let that layer there dry off a bit. I'm going to add a little stem. almost don't want to add anything to this. <laughs> it's a really cute little pumpkin on its own, um, but I did want to add a ghost. I don't know how this ghost is going to go, but that's part of the challenge. So before I contemplate adding my ghost, I do want to go and just accentuate those little creases of our pumpkin. Have you been painting pumpkins this October? Mama Robs, uh, they are kind of tricky. I paint mine in sections. I know some people like to just start off with one big blob and then kind of go in and add some definition. But this 
this way makes sense to me. And then kind of adding in my shadows and kind of controlling the blending there. Um, you can also paint with some blues and um, add some shadows. There's many ways, but this color that I'm using right now, that's called pumpkin pie. I really can't get much better than that. <laughs> the one blob, and that's not the look you were going for, right? The one blob look. I think it's um, Sweet Season Art uh, on YouTube that has a tutorial, a really quick one on pumpkins, and that was a really fun one. So if you're looking for someone to break down the steps, maybe that's the one you want to see. For me, this, this works out enough. <laughs> my ghost. Maybe I'll have my ghost coming out here because I got my leaf on this side, so something to balance. <laughs> Mine looks like peach slices. Mm. You know, maybe a little brown and orange. blend that a little bit. We gotta make this look like it came from a pumpkin patch, right? And I'm fine with texture on my pumpkin. Doesn't have to blend perfectly. I think he's looking pretty cute now. The little extra love there. Okay. Um, for my ghost, I'm going to do a quick sort of outline. Um, I have so many options here for colors, right? You could go straight gray or a cream color for a base. like that. And I want I want some sparkle to my ghost. I don't want this to be too spooky. I'm going to go with sparkle. I think that's kind of where I went yesterday. Not entirely spooky. <laughs> Um, so, you probably can't see much of my ghost right now, but my goal is to have a little bit of shimmer there. Try and do some more folds with this sparkle. I think it's Snowflake Sparkle by Mrs. Hand Painted. I have sort of dabbed it in places for some shadows. Um, I want to add some dark eyes. I'm okay with it bleeding a little bit.
Almost looks like mascara over there. That is too funny. Um, right, most of the expression comes from the mouth. You would think that would mean I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on it, but no. <laughs> I'll add um, a few layers of sparkles and things, but I'm good with that. That's part one of my ghost. Um, a little, a little of that brown green, I think, for some shadows uh, over here, and then some shadow from the arm, sort of like it's reflecting on the ghost, and then you'll see on that angle, it sparkles. I think that'll look really cute together. So I'll pull in some of this orange. I'll dilute that a lot. And then a little bit stronger in places. some bleeds. Okay, and a little bit of that green brown mix. Ghosts can be any color that we want them to be, right? I think I'm gonna have lots of leaves swirl around the ghost so it's not just completely white up here. Let me add some more sparkles. Process getting her presentable. Okay. Let's add some more greenery and hope I didn't ruin my pumpkin. <laughs>
What do we think of this pumpkin? Pumpkin ghost. I actually am liking it. <laughs> Surprised. This is not my go-to type of illustration. Janae, you love it. I would love a witch too. Ooh, a witch? Hmm. Uh, next week is pumpkins and bats. Maybe I probably could do a witch's hat on a pumpkin. I'd feel comfortable doing that. As for a witch. That would be a challenge for me, for sure. Yeah, I really like the the bleeds here. Sort of looks like the ghost is kind of in between, messing up our our matter, <laughs> interacting with us, uh, and then the the color bleeds. Yeah, this was a good one. I might might want to do another layer on the eyes, but I think. That's gonna be it for today. I really love the shimmer. <laughs> really makes the ghost look good. <laughs> I tried my best. Um, the next couple of days I will be, I might be able to paint with you tomorrow, but I have some tutoring come up, so I'll be busy um, Friday. I think I'll be doing a spooky pumpkin with a Duma over on Instagram. And then more pumpkins to come after that. Thank you, sunflowers, for the tiny dinosaur. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this painting. Even though there are no flowers, it was very difficult for me to, to let the flowers go for today. I really enjoyed painting this pumpkin with you. Hope to see you again soon. Bye, everyone.